what men believe governs what they do. That's pretty much for all of us. Yes. What you believe governs what you do. And if you believe that you are going to be part of Lucifer's winning victory in the universe, or you're going to be um, something in that order, it's, it's not. It goes far beyond um, just owning a lot of property and having a big income, because you can only consume so much yourself, and you can only have so many parties. And it's funny how many friends you have when you're rich, and how many you have when you're not rich. It does diminish enormously. I can tell you, I've been there, done that. It, you've you've really experienced. That. I've I've been not super rich, but I was worth, you know, I was a million, 1.6 million. I could add up my assets and I didn't have to work. And I retired at 50, but I got white-handed from underneath by trusting the wrong people to run my business. That's essentially what it is. But I've, um, yes, I'd like to rule the world and do it my way, but I'm not going to be driven to um, executing people who disagree with me. If you don't like somebody, you don't have to uh, you know, be nasty about it. Just move away. Don't have anything to do. Um, but when you get into now the, I say, what men believe governs what they do. Some people have sold their soul literally to um, some of these entities which do appear, and I have witnessed a couple of manifestations of demonic forces and it's pretty scary when you're first time you're confronted. You've actually witnessed... I have witnessed a couple of incredible things of uh, a 12 year old girl being possessed but in, given incredible superpower to throw a 20 stone man across the room. I have seen a possessed woman go berserk and a black snake come out of her mouth. I have witnessed that. That's the only two bits I've scared, and quite frankly, it's pretty scary. But those people, um, you know, we've got pedophiles, and we've got people eating blood and babies, and, and you hear this, and you think, oh, that's just too ridiculous, too incredible to believe. It is getting much, much worse than people think. We had a situation up here in this area a couple of years ago where a young boy was sodomized, um, strangled and his head cut off in a ceremony. Now, two federal police came out here. I don't know whether they came to protect those who did it or to find out who did it. Everybody knows, but you can't prove it. Has this been, would you say, the talk of the town? This it is... was for a while, but today it's, it's faded away because nobody wants to talk about it. And then you get into people like Fiona Barnett who are exposing things. Now, I can't vouch for any of that except um, she has named some very high profile people. You're sure you're aware of it. You can read the Fiona Barnett stories on my site. And, um, but th that kind of stuff is very, very big. Um, I think the whole world now has accepted that the pedophilia thing is rampant in the churches, not only in the Catholic Church, it's certainly in the high profile uh, happy clappy churches and the crackersmatics and even the other churches. Why? Well, first of all, in the Catholic situation, both men and women, priests and nuns, etc., take a vow of celibacy, which is totally unnatural. So they're going to be seeking stuff elsewhere and they do get themselves in situations where things could occur. Um, people desperate will confide in somebody who they think they trust and they will be betrayed by that. Um, and it's also in the prophecy that this sort of thing would happen. Unnatural desires, desiring men and men, women and women. It's in prophecy that it will happen. Now, I believe we are in end times. I don't know how far away it is, um, but there are certainly uh, a few more events to occur and um, then it will happen very fast. On my site under churches you will read a story by a man named Ken Peters. I encourage you to listen to that man now. Uh, it was a vision that he had, but it's uncannily accurate for today. 
was I'm this saying. was this some form of premonition? No, he, he, looked, he looked into dreams. the future. He saw into yeah, the future. He saw the future in much, much detail, which he could not possibly have known of describing things which weren't invented when he had the dream, which are household items today. He talked about Big Brother and sequence of events. He was uh, he had no Bible knowledge, but his Bible prophecies are amazingly accurate. And I'm not saying he doesn't claim to be a prophet. He's not making predictions. He just said, "This is what I saw." Very, very um, good to know because sooner or later you're going to have to make a decision in the what think ye of Christ. That will be the judge. Not what you've done, not how much you've had, not how generous you were, not how mean you were. It's what thinking of Christ is the judgment which will come on all. Whether you believe it or not, that's up to you. You're going to find out the, one day. I don't believe there are any atheists in life rafts. And if anyone says they're an atheist, well, to be an atheist, you would have to know everything. How can you say there is no God? Well, there is, unless you know everything. So you can't say you're an atheist. It may well be a matter of personal opinion, but that doesn't but make opinions it fact. Are, opinions doesn't mean a thing. Uh, you can have an opinion about somebody that you've never met. Only, how do you get that opinion based on hearsay? Well, a personal relationship with Christ is one-on-one. -on -one. And unless you experience it or believe it, seek and ye shall find. Seek the truth and ye shall find. God's not standing. Most people are demanding a personal miracle. They want God, come and prove yourself to me. God said, no, you seek me. And when you're sincere, then I'll reveal myself. Now, many people become believers and they don't have any manifestation for years. They've been tested. And that is the battle which we are here. If you think that we're going to um, just live this life and die and go nowhere, well, you're entitled to that belief. But you're going to. What are you going to do when you're here? Next, please. What are you going to say? Go away. I don't believe in you. If there is none, then you have nothing to worry about. But what if there is? Can you take that risk?